few years ago, this field was in an alfalfa grass mix, and then we took it out of rotation and planted oats in there. And so what the oats does is it absorbs the nitrogen that the alfalfa deposits back into the ground. And so oats is an annual crop, so it will die once it gets a hard enough freeze. So we cut it off and we till it back, and then we normally plant oats two years in a row because you can't plant alfalfa back to back. It's like a antisocial bush. It is great on its own, but if you want to put another alfalfa plant right next to an existing alfalfa plant, um, the existing alfalfa plant says, no, no more alfalfa next to me. I don't like it. And it releases some kind of chemical and won't allow the alfalfa to grow. I think it's called autotoxicity. So, and it's it stays in the ground for a year. So we have to plant something that's not alfalfa for a year to two years, depend because you can. It's really hard to kill alfalfa, especially Roundup Ready. This field wasn't Roundup Ready, but we do have some that are Roundup Ready, and those are going to be fun to plow because they've been in rotation for almost five, ten years.
This ground was planted late November, around Thanksgiving time. The field was a little too muddy, so it was very, very rough to cut and bale, and it flooded. So when we planted it with Timothy, majority of the seed got washed away, and weed seed was brought in. And so this f field of uh, 40 acres, we didn't make much money off of. We sold it for like 100 a ton, and that was, I don't even know if that covered the cost of cutting and baling and stacking so we're plowing it under or tillaging it under to hopefully get rid of all the weed seeds and just start fresh next spring